Hello friends and welcome to Unbound Learners Pre-K. My name is Nina. What's your name? It's so nice to meet you. Are you ready to get started with our good morning song? Let's stretch our arms out like airplane wings and fly those airplanes to one side, fly them to the other side, bring your arms to the middle like a T, and now bring those arms into a circle out in front of you like this. Now take that circle up, up, up over your head and give a little stretch from one side, stretch over to the other side, one last stretch up to the top and right down below. If you know the words to this song, you can sing with me. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. I hope that you all are having a wonderful day so far. Are you ready for circle time? Let's get started. Now the first thing that we do is begin with the date. And when we see the date, we start up with the month right up here. And look at this, friends. We started a brand new month today. Today is the first day of the month of April. Today is April 1st. So let's move the chip over to the number one because today is April 1st and right up here we have the year. The year is 2021 or you can also say that the year is 2021. There are two ways to say the year and both of them are correct. Friends, we don't have a lot of counting to do today because it's the first day of April. So let's just take our counting fingers. I don't even think we need to stretch or warm them up. And we are going to count one day. We've only had one day of the month of April. Friends, now instead of one finger, I need to see your seven fingers like this because we are going to sing the Days of the Week song. And because we have seven days in our week, we hold up seven fingers for this song. If you know the words, sing along with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's travel down to the bottom of the chart, right down here. Do you remember what the day was yesterday? Here's your clue. Yesterday was what? Wednesday. Yesterday was Wednesday. So that means that today is th Thursday. Today is Thursday. And if today is Thursday, tomorrow will be th Friday. Tomorrow will be Friday, the last day of the weekday. But let's go back to today and let's sing today's Thursday together. It goes like this. Today is Thursday, today is Thursday, today is Thursday, all day long. Today is Thursday, today is Thursday, today is Thursday, all day long. Let's travel back up to the top. Right up here we have the season. Do you know what the season is? Spring! That's right friends. It's springtime, but it doesn't feel like spring outside of my house right now. I'll tell you more about the weather, but first let's sing the weather song together. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? Friends, I don't know if you're going to believe it, but right outside of my window right now, it's snowing. It's a snowy day where I live. I told you that the springtime can have some pretty unpredictable weather. And today, a snowy day is very unpredictable. My temperature chart is back to dark blue. It's a cold, snowy day 
in the springtime where I live. What's the weather like where you live, friends? Do you also have unpredictable weather where you live? Look outside of your window and let me know what you see. Thanks for sharing the weather with me. Let's move on to the number, the letter, and the sign of the week. Do you remember what sound this letter makes? This letter says, duh, duh. Can you make that sound? Duh. And do you remember what letter this is called? D, that's right. This is a lowercase d. And D says, duh, duh. Friends, it's time to move on to the letter box. But what I have today is way too big to fit inside of the box. But here's your first clue. This is something that starts with the letter D. D. This is a type of a vehicle, specifically a truck. Now you would find this truck on a construction site. This truck has something in the back called a bed used to haul loads. This bed can tilt up. Do you know what it is? Here it comes. A dump truck. A dump truck starts with the letter D. D. And on the back of the dump truck, this is called the bed. It's used to haul different materials. Now this bed can tilt up like this, which is why it's called a dump truck. This is how you write a lowercase d, d. One more time. And let's talk about the number of the week. Do you remember what double digit number this is? 17, that's right. And you write the number 17 first with this number. Can you show me with your fingers what number this is? One, that's right. And after you write the number one, you write this number. What number is this? Seven, 17. Will you count 17 tally marks with me? One, two, three, four, five goes across. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten goes across. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen goes across. Sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen tally marks. Now let's open up the box and see what we have to count today. I have 17 wood chips. Now these wood chips are almost the same color as the top of this box. So hopefully they don't camouflage and you can see them and count them with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and one more makes seventeen wood chips. Now, when I look at these wood chips, I notice two different shapes. I notice squares and rectangles. Let's see if I can find an example of a square. Here we go. Here's a good example of a square shaped wood chip. And here is an example of a rectangular shaped wood chip. Altogether, we counted 17 wood chips. Now that we've gone over the letter of the week and the number of the week, it's time to go over the sign of the week. And this week, we've been practicing how to say rain in sign language. 
Can you show me how to say rain in sign language? That's right. Now let's do that together. One more time. Rain. And how would you show a heavy rain? Rain. This week we've been talking about how springtime can be a very wet and rainy season. But without clouds, we wouldn't have any rain. I have a poem that I'd like to share with you. And it goes like this. One, two, three. Three little raindrops dancing on the walk. Pitter-patter, pitter-patter. That's the way they talk. Out comes a yellow sun shining in the sky. And away goes one raindrop. Bye, bye, bye. Let's count how many raindrops we have left. One, two. Two little raindrops dancing on the walk. Pitter-patter, pitter-patter. That's the way they talk. Out comes a yellow sun shining in the sky. And away goes one raindrop. Bye, bye, bye. Now let's see how many raindrops are left. One, only one. One little raindrop dancing on the walk. Pitter-patter, pitter-patter. That's the way it talks. Out comes a yellow sun shining in the sky. And away goes that raindrop. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. All the raindrops are gone and only the sun is left. Are you ready to see your work for the day? Let's go check it out. For today's work, you will need a glass jar, a squeeze bottle. I just use an empty ketchup container and I rinsed it out and filled it with water and added a few drops of blue food coloring, which is optional. And you will also need a sponge without the scouring pad or scrubbing side. Today, we are going to make the rain fall from a cloud. So start off by taking your sponge and placing it on top of your jar like this. Then open up your squeeze bottle and start squirting the blue water onto the sponge. You're gonna squirt the water around the sponge, getting it nice and heavy and wet until you notice that the sponge gets too heavy and full, the water starts to drip down. I'm going to tilt it so that you can see what happens as the sponge fills with water and starts to rain. It comes down the sides. Just like a rainy day. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Did you notice what happened to the sponge as it got heavy with water? The water began to drip down from the sponge, just like what happens to a cloud when it rains. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. Before we go, we have one last song to sing. Can everybody wave goodbye like this? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.